Wait, did you move closer? Friend, you better stop him or I'm gonna flirt aggressively at you. You have facial features that happen to be my favorite. Oh, I think you're really in it now, whatever it is. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir David, and today I want to play a game that's part of the O2A2 game jam called... Egress. Mm -mm. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. What was I thinking? Why the heck did I let myself get into this mess? Ooh. We just started and we're already in deep poop. It's what I get for sticking my nose where it didn't belong. Fluffing stupid curious dog brain. Fluffing nosy. Why do I have to be nosy? It's my fault. No. I didn't have a choice in my situation. Anyone would have done the same. And anyone could be at this door. That's just facts, isn't it? No, it was stupid. Crap stings to tell you it's a hazard. Filth you want nothing to do with. That's a good philosophy. This job smelled rancid from the start. Yet I stuck my nose in it anyway. What else would I find but a mess? Figuratively speaking, of course. So civilized. What a classy metaphor. I'm a classy guy, don't you know? Never heard of it. Sorry. I'm a sugar cereal and TV kind of guy. Mm -mm. I feel tense. I don't even know what's happening. This whole thing had become a mess, and here I was, huddled against a slab of wood and cheap metal knob, making a poultry barrier between me and an ocean of horrible outcomes ahead of me. I should have gone to school. I should have networked more. I should have settled down and started a family. This is a mess. A total mess. I'm a total mess. I'm not cut out for this. I could just turn around and leave. Or... Okay. Okay. New idea. In a thousand words or less, I'm going to either open this door and do my job or kill myself. You could do it. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just gotta... Gotta open the door. Mm. Gotta do it. Gotta open that door. They call me the master of opening doors. A simple little door. My fingers curl around the grip of the pistol. A film of sweat making it ever so slightly slippery. Safety's still on. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter what's behind that door. A bullet between the eyes will make most anything deader than dirt. Feel the kick of the thing in your hands. That familiar explosion of brain matter against the wall. That's called problem solving. <laughs> Listen, I'm a simple guy. Give me the money and your problem goes away. For good. Yeah, no. Don't worry. Put enough zeros on that check and scrumples won't be an issue. Trust me. You'll get what you pay for. Mm -mm. I wait. Back pressed at the door, trying to calm my breath, trying to quell the shakes. It's not working. Milder than before, but a tremble persisting under the buzzing quiet of the emergency light on the wall, which did a poor job of lighting the space. Trying its best, though, just like I am. Am I trying my best? Have I ever tried at anything? Feels like the only thing that's trying is my own patience. I'm trying to calm my nerves. I'm trying to open this, but what's behind it? Did I ever think of that? Okay, the answer is yes, hundreds of times, but that was before I was in front of the door, and now I'm here. Get psyched, mother lover, I told myself, but it was gone, but it's back, the fear's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, ah, snap out of it, okay, okay. Okay, 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 calm down. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Family guy, funny moments, family guy, phony moments. Rish forgave me. I can't wait for you to fall asleep tonight. Frogs with holes in it. 400 bullet wounds making a dead frog. Is this how you calm down, friend? Sorry, gallows humor. Gotta keep the sun shining somehow in this business. I remember when I was a kid, and there was that frog in the pond. The one that sat there for weeks, unmoving, 
And then, finally, when it decided to explore, it got panicked by a truck. Its guts exploded out of it like overcut. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. Exploded out of it like an overcooked hot pocket. I'm disgusting. Biscuit, I shower twice a week. Who is talking? What do you mean that's not the point? That'll be me. Right behind that door is something worse than a truck. Something bigger and worse and angrier. I can feel it. It doesn't have to announce its presence. Ants crawling around the neck, goose flesh skin, and thick beads of sweat. Twice a week was nice, but it's been days. Mm -mm. My hands are trembling. I can't stop breathing fast and hard. Sips of air in and out of the nostrils. The knob rattles a little beneath the shaking. This is bad. This is really bad. I need to calm down. How long have I been standing here? Stupid. I must be stupid. This is stupid. This won't have happened if I just did the darn job right in the first place. Aw, oh, honey, you're panicking. Get back here! You can't get away from me! No! Get away! Stay back! Stay the fluff away from me! I'm never going to leave you. I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I'm sorry. I can't see you ever again. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I've done it now. I've really done something beyond stupid. This is too much. I should just leave and never show my face again. Yeah, that's it. I can disappear, right? I'm toast either way, so I can just walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. I don't think you can walk away at this point, friend. I think you're really in it now. Whatever it is, I am still confused. Enough. It comes out of my mouth in a snarl of clenched teeth, trying to be quiet. Didn't want to alert whoever, or whatever, might be behind the door. I had to calm down, and I had to act. The longer I stood here thinking, the more paralyzed I'd become. Could feel that happening with each spark of fire inside my brain. I had to act now, or never again. Okay. Safety is off. Three, two, one. With a swift fluid motion, I push open the door and enter with my gun facing dead forward, finger on the trigger, ready to pull. Only... There was nothing in the room. Nothing, except another door. You're kidding me. Dang it! <laughs> Jeez. Wowzers. Goodness gracious. All that paranoia to open a door, only for there to be another door. I wonder if there's a more to this story. Well, if there is, there will be a link in the description to this developer, and you can follow them and support them and see if there is any more development to this mess that this person has gotten themselves in. <laughs> and today I want to play a game for the O2A2 game jam called Swing and Miss. It's hot outside. I tug on my collar and check my watch. The bus should have come by now. I simply shrug off my nagging thoughts, the relief of being at the last stretch of my trip settling in. It was rough, hopping from bus to bus these past two weeks after taking leave from work, but I'm pretty close to my destination now. Mm -hmm. I look up as the sound of footsteps gets closer. Oh, hi. It's some guy. I'm not sure if it's because I'm sitting alone at night at this shabby bus stop, but the sight of him causes me to tense up. He plops down on the bench next to me, a little too close for comfort. Hey, now. Hey. Do you have fox face? I love fox face. I give a terse nod and greeting before pulling out my phone, trying to look busy. But his stare was making my skin crawl. I could see from the corner of my eye that his gaze hadn't left me since I sat down. What the heck? I try to turn my attention back to my phone, but I can't focus. The bus is late, huh? I gaze intently at my phone, hoping he takes the hint. It's pretty hot tonight. 
You look like you're sweating under all those clothes. That's what a creeper would say. Don't say that. I look at him. He's wearing a crude grin. Look who's talking. Wait, did you move closer? Friend, you better stop him or I'm going to flirt aggressively at you. You have facial features that happen to be my favorite. Mind if I borrow a pen? I quickly dug around my bag for my only pen and toss it to him, hoping he'll leave me alone. Thanks. He winks and pulls out a crossword puzzle. I'm Jason, by the way. Oh, Jason. I look down at my phone, ignoring his attempt at introductions. Hmm. You don't look like you're from around here. You dress like you're from the city. You quickly look up once more. He's sitting even closer to me now. I quickly look up once more, and he's sitting even closer to me now. Hey, buddy. Shock passes through me, and I scoot away a little. Um, I do? Yep. Smells like you're from the city, too. Oh no, he's doing the flashy glasses thing! Um, thanks. I quickly get up and move to the other side of the bench, thoroughly creeped out. Jason grins from his spot on the bench and continues to ramble about the city. He seems to stay where he is as long as I don't ignore him. Something big happened a couple weeks back, actually. A bunch of people died at that XYZ company. Cops still haven't found the culprit. What do you think about that? I saw it on the news. But I don't know much. The police probably know what they're doing. I attempt a half-hearted shrug and start to fidget with my sleeve. Hmm. I'm sure some of them do. Thinking of heading home soon? You won't make it to the victim's funeral otherwise. I... uh... Why would I do that? Why not? You worked with them for so many years. Jason! I stuffed my hands into my pockets, brow scrunching. What are you talking about? I never even worked there. Jason holds up the pen that I carelessly tossed at him. My blood runs cold. Oh. Only long-term employees from that company have this pen, though. I know. It, it's my brother's. Huh, that's funny. Could have sworn you didn't have any siblings. Or family members, for that matter. Jason! I immediately stand up, anger flashing through me. Who do you think you are, you fluffing stalker? I don't even know you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna call the police. At this, Jason laughs taunting me with a grin. <laughs> Go ahead. I stand there, fuming silently with one hand in my pocket and the other gripping my bag. You know you can't call anyone, so just tell the truth. Fine, I worked there. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Bastard. On July 15th, 20XX, someone in XYZ Company poisoned the finance department's water filter with oxalic acid. Seven people died, and four are currently hospitalized in critical condition. Is that all you have to say? I've actually got something to do, so if you'll excuse me... I started walking away, only to stop at Jason's next words. I noticed you didn't show up at work on the 15th. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Jason not the creepy one? Am I the creepy one? Am I the sus? I was sick. This has nothing to do with me. Entry log said you stayed at the office later than most employees on the 14th. A bit odd, since you always clock off on time. I was coming down with a cold and had a hard day at work. So what? My hand in my pocket shifts, and my muscles tense. Really? Then it must have been tough dumping poison into that water filter with your sick, aching joints. <gasps> Before I could react, Jason appears behind me, gripping my bandaged right hand. 
Fun fact, oxalic acid can severely burn skin if mishandled. But you already knew that, didn't you? <gasps> oh no! I need to do something. Uh, uh, wait, don't wait, save your game. Wait. I hesitate, but realize there's no other way out. I swiftly withdraw my hand from my pocket, gripping the blade. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Huh? Oh. My vision clouds red as I double over howling, clutching my bleeding hand. Jason stands over me, holding a gun. My breaths become harsher, hysteria and pain surging through me. Those people, that company, made my life a living heck. I'm just giving them what they deserved. They were fluffing asking to be killed off. <laughs> oh no! I'm insane! Hmm. I didn't even realize that he'd cuffed my uninjured hand to the pole of the bus stop until I tugged, feeling resistance. The despair sinks in. How... how could I... Just attempted to stab me. I discharged my weapon in self-defense, requesting immediate backup and medical assistance at... <gasps> well, okay. I am flabbergasted. Ah. Jason flashes as a police badge a mocking grin on his face. As I stay there, handcuffed to the pole, I hear the sounds of the bus get closer. I don't know if I'm hallucinating or not, but the irony isn't lost on me. Well, not like it matters anymore. Cool! Ah! <laughs> Does anything happen if I don't wait? I can't waste a second. I take the knife out of my pocket, then twist and swing cutting through the air as Jason jumps back to avoid it. <laughs> oh no! I got got anyway. <laughs> well, kind of deserved it. Was I trying to flee the country or something? Cool. Ah, that was so cool. Ah, that was so cool. <laughs> well, I'd love to know what you think about all that. So please leave a comment in the comment section, and there will also be a link to this game in the description if you would like to play it for yourself or follow the developer. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope. <laughs>